Good morning, afternoon, evening. It's taco time. Is it taco time? Is it really taco time? <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Alive? Barely? Alive? No? Yes? No? Maybe? <laughs> Hello! Hi! You're here? Barely alive? Good! <laughs> Good. You're still alive. You're unalive? Must be listening to Callie's song, huh? <laughs> Hi. Revived because of Ina. Oh man. Who knew my powers extended to life and death? <laughs> More alive with Ina. Good, good, good. All according to Keikak. <laughs> Almost dead. No, don't be dead. Stay alive. <laughs> you are no longer dead. Good. Alive. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You are home. We are indeed home. I am home. Hi, I'm home. <laughs> Hungry? I actually... <laughs> speaking about food... Um, I was out of my room for a second... And Mama niece, She brought up lunch to my room... Except she didn't tell me where she put it... And um, I was... I was... Uh, <laughs> I was not careful... And did not realize that Mama Nis put my food on my chair. <laughs> and uh, I almost sat on my lunch. I almost did. I did not. I almost did. And um, right as I was about to sit down, Mama Nis was like, Did you get your lunch? I was like, You put down lunch? She was like, Yeah, put it on your chair. So I was like, Moments away from disaster. <laughs> Oh, the more <laughs> the uh, ironic thing was, I had pancakes for lunch. <laughs> so I mean, even if I sat on it, I'm sure, I'm sure it wouldn't have been much different. <laughs> I just would have had some some I don't know syrup on my on my pants, but. <laughs> It would the pancakes would have been a little bit flatter, maybe a little little less syrup, <laughs> but it would have been fine. <laughs> Anyways, that's my uh, story of lunch. What you guys have for lunch or breakfast or dinner or midnight snack or early morning snack or midday snack? Pancakes, quesadillas. Mm. <gasps> that reminds me, I forgot to... I forgot to try Chipotle. During the trip. <laughs> I always laugh at... Laugh at Chipotle's burritos because... Their burritos are literally like... Thicker than my arm. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know how I'm supposed to finish it all. I usually get through like a quarter before I get really full. <laughs> Oh yeah, the the the, the 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 grilled chicken burrito with white rice and cheese. Eh. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me for the entire cause cause my entire break was like a long June, right? I was watching that um, series with the uh, going across America with the penny. I really enjoyed watching that every day. It was like my morning routine. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't survive with just eating McDonald's for a whole month. Hmm. Yeah, it was a very entertaining series, I think. Really goes to say, there's still faith in humanity, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so let's just, yeah, let's just wasn't there like a movie on like... Just eating McDonald's for like a month or something, I forgot. It was a while ago. Super size me. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't mind that. What was it? 99 cent iced coffee every day. <laughs> Although I'll probably get it black because I don't really like having like creamers in my coffee. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm enjoying my Dr. Oopsie. I haven't had proper Dr. Oopsie in a while. <laughs> I feel like. Well, mine has the Dr. Oopsie colored Ina Colada that Callie made me during the off collab. But anyways, enough, uh, enough talking. <laughs> Today is indeed a gaming stream. Hmm. It is the Stanley Parable. 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 <laughs> Stanley Parable. Ultra Deluxe. <laughs> yes. I've heard... I've heard so much about this game, right? But I did my best not to look at anything related to it, so I have no idea what's happening in the game. Okay, I've I've heard about it. People are like, oh it's good to play. Always had it in my in my Steam checkout box cart thing. But I can't finally play it. Finally. Spoilers avoided. <laughs> There's a couple of games that I really like dodged spoilers for. One of them is this game. Um, what's the other ones? There's a couple, there's a couple. Um, so, you know, I hope I enjoy it. I did hear a lot of good things about it, so I'm looking forward to it, so. Yes. Outer Wilds too, actually, Outer Wilds too. I, I, I've only seen like little bits and pieces when I like tuned into Ame stream for like five minutes at a time. Plus, like when she was seeing the uh, landing on the on the station. Yeah, that's that's all I know. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, shall we get started? It's already been like ten minutes. <laughs> Begin the game. The end is never is loading. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Hi, Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. How's the audio? Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed Give me a carrot if the audio is good. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, oh. telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did okay, every good. day of every month of every year. Wow. And although others might have considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Oh. As though he had been made exactly for this job. Are we just gonna be here Stanley for five years pressing happy. buttons? Was he really happy? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Oh. Something that would forever change Stanley. What did he do? Something he would never quite forget. What did he not forget? He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. Ow. When he realized that not one single oh. order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. That's a perfect time but for me. But as he yeah. came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. <gasps> Am I allowed to listen to music when I work? Because just the clock ticking will drive me insane. Um... It's a very, uh... Organized desk. Would you guys consider this desk very organized? Also, the mouse is moving too fast. <laughs> eh... Maybe a little. Okay, that's a little bit. 
Feel the view super high. What can I say? I have a very high field of vision. Field, field, field of vision. F yeah, yeah, field of vision. This is okay for you guys. Do you guys want it a little smaller? More organized than my desk. Um, uh, definitely. It's all good. Okay, close the door. But Stanley simply couldn't <laughs> handle the pressure. It's what if he had to down. make a decision? What if a crucial decisions. outcome fell under his responsibility? I have to make decisions. He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Yeah. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy can I, can forever. I... <laughs> I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Uh -huh. Then days. Had what? years gone by? I barely no moved. Had the ability to tell. But the it's one been thing five he knew seconds. Sure, beyond any doubt was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. What about lunch? Soon, what very time soon is it? now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Wait, hold on. I need to read the clock. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. What? What? I was just looking at the clock. What is that? 10... 10.52? Wait, was that a game over? <laughs> Uh, 10, 1052. I was just reading the clocks. Oh, no. Narrator, son. You're not very patient at all. I'm just a little slow, okay? 10, 1056. No, 5. Six. I can read a clock. I can read a clock! <laughs> okay, well, um. I mean. I guess we have no choice. Always close the door. Where is everyone? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it be? He mean? went to lunch without Stanley me. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. He went to lunch without me. I... What does he say? I... Hate... Monday? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Green phone. Hello? Who... Party? Why would you put down your cup? <laughs> what, for what reason would you have that cup? Number... One dad. Uh-huh. What, what, what does this say? Can I crouch? Oh, I can't. I like... Work. I just hate my boss. Someone who actually likes their work. Unheard of. <laughs> Can't touch anything. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office. I did. But it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. You got a problem with that? Obviously, you do. Are there papers on the floor? Someone... Someone must have had a fateful encounter. Like they were... They were running late to their meeting. They were like, ah! Oh, oh no! Running with the toast in their... In their mouths. Late. And then they bumped into... Worker... Worker A. Like, ah! Oh no! Papers flying in the air. On the floor. It's obviously what happened, right, narrator son? Why else would there be... Papers on the floor? Oh, something on the computer. This is it. Can't read it. What does this mug say? Same cup! They have matching cups. Hmm. Be my valentine. Will you guys be my valentine? It's not even February. Uh, what's that? F. Foo. Oh no. Does that cup say what I think it says? Foo. Foo. K. 
can't see. I can't see. Poo. What's that? What is that? Poo fudge? Definitely says fudge. Of course, they're a big fan of fudge. Okay, this also has that. Where are we? Where is the meeting room? Is this the meeting room? No. No? Did I come from this way? I think I did. Okay. I hate Mondays. Did they don't not like Mondays because it's Monday? I <laughs> know. To the meeting room. When Stanley came to oh. a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. I did not. Because left is not the right way. <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room, oh. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Let me help. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge, Ooh, lounge. First, just to admire it. A lounge. I mean, lounges usually have food, right? Like free food, the cafeteria. Ah, nice. Yes, truly a room worth Cold admiring. Drink. Do I have money? It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. What's outside? Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I want drink. Give me doctor. No, no. Yes, really, really worth it being Oi. here in the room. <laughs> a room so utterly captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, that's rude. You sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. The real question is what do I get typing sounds from clicking on the couch? At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy. You're and reflected creepy. Poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. And the table too, what's happening? Stanley sat Wait. around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. It's sending me a message, Aurat. It's telling me that this is all just a simulation. And that I'm actually just typing away at a desk. Well, thinking that I'm looking at this. Look at this. Keyboard sounds everywhere. It's just a simulation. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Left? There was only one door, though. It's here. Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. How did they know I'm lying on the floor? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. What is this place? Wait. Let me out! I'm just curious what's, what's around here, you know? What is this place? Oh. Why did the doors keep closing on me? Look, it's like a typing sound. This is so weird. Warning, do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. Penalty for jumping off cargo lift. Do you guys have extra $6,000? Asking for a friend. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, um... Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very the... powerful. The, um... Oh, sorry. What should I say? The, um... The edge of, of the platform was gone. shorter than I thought. What did it mean? Stanley decided okay, to go I'm to the speeding. meeting. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Speeding. Zoom. 
I walk really fast. I'm like running through these hallways. Okay, let's when go Stanley back. Came to a set of now. Two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it I knew it perfectly. Well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire I did. it. Wow. Yes. This room. Uh-huh. But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I must find out what's at the end of the end of the lift. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years well, ago. Well, they do say I'm directionally challenged. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Are you sure? I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Really? I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. Yeah, but I have trust issues. the is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. You sure? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Who? Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who is her? Who this is, is she? It, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her, her? back into your life. She's been waiting. Who is she? What? I have a wife. Who am I forgetting? What if this is just like a uh... Stanley is addicted to online simulation games? Why is it... Why is it dark? Am I gonna die? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, you then sound pick a little sus, phone. sir. Oh. Hello? Eh? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Bread? Oh, right. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. You're <laughs> naked. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd She's want to naked. Their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Doesn't even have an apron on. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stan. I'm dead? Press Y on your keyboard. You. T. Y. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Oh. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Where's lunch? Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One I'm might stuck. even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. I'm stuck. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each well, day that he returned to that. work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. There's why to watch TV. Why? And so he began to oh. fantasize about his own job. Wait, is this my own First, room? Imagine that one day while at work... Uh he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers... Wait, this is my own room, isn't everyone it? ...everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Spend time with the boys! So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. 
It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean oh. something was almost too wonderful to behold. Prepare dinner. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. I have kids! It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I have a wife. Do I tell her I love her? Do I, Do I tell her I love her? Um, life. I gotta say. Um. Oh my god, I can't stare you in the eye. But I gotta say, I've. I've always. I've always. Hey! But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all uh. he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing what? has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Get my wife back! No! My wife wasn't real. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. What else am I supposed to but do? he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Do not do it. Do it. Do not. Do not do it. Do it. Do not. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way You're that a voice in my head. every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? What How can I make see? him look at himself? To question nothing. Who are you? Voice in my head. Am I going crazy? Hello? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. Who are you? They're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... I can't believe I died! <laughs> I died! This uh, Netflix adaptation of ReZero season seems a little different. Were gone. What could it mean? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Did I miss a memo? To the missing room. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Do I go left? Check going left. Hello?
Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Termination Tuesdays, I like the sound of that. What day is it today? It's Saturday. Never mind. Wait, it's Saturday. You're not supposed to be here. Saturday, Sunday? I like the sound of Termination Tuesday. What shall we do next Termination Tuesday? Marketing Monday. We're broke Wednesdays! <laughs> okay. Wait. Did... Who's saying that? The boss appreciation minute on your boss appreciation minute worksheet circle the top 20 things you love most about you. I was still reading. Any conflict with other not a diligent employee like yourself, but more inclined towards conflict and the... What are your dreams for the future? Spring break! Clear skin. Metamorphosis. Less air. Pollution. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no except expectation of promotion recognition. Don't get fired. True. We need... Less reviews. Two, 402 and 405 want to get rid of the death sport portion in the primary review schedule. But I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers. More water he cooler heaters. Charts need to be more hip to appeal to teenage demographic. Find teenagers to put in teenage demographic. Big net. Big net. Some sort of child trap. That's a little, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Throw something in the idea bin. No more... No more bins and trash cans. Remaining of the idea of firing of what? What kind of company is this? What do people want? Things. Yes, they do want things. Money. More money. Things, but with money to buy more things. Graphs. Graphs about things and money. We have our new product. <laughs> what is hot profits? This sounds like some, uh... Suspicious... Yeah... The stark market is somewhere here. Colored in segment. Stripes. Requires more secondary reason. Profit. Huh. To do. Synergize core values. Wait. Quarterly pie chart profit. Shift global market. Karad. Monetize free to play. No, never monetize free to play. Free to play players have. <laughs> no. No, not the free to play. <laughs> it's too late. I think we already saw this. Who moved my desk? There's actually a book called, like, Who Moved My Cheese? I think Papa Nis got me to read that when I was in like elementary school. I had no idea what it was about except that it was about cheese. Or who ate my cheese, I forgot. So who moved my cheese or who ate my cheese? <laughs> Do you guys know that book? No, yes. It's like some like self-motivation kind of book, I think. Yeah. I don't remember what it was about except that it was about cheese. Broom closet? 
say no more. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No, there's definitely something here. That's why it opened. No, I guess not. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty room. I am room safe closet. here. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. I'm At just least meditating. If there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. What's F.A.? What's F.A.? Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? I am. Standing around doing nothing? Why? Oh. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just see a whole you do wall no of choice or anything in here. Band right? words. If I'd said Stanley <laughs> I'm walked chat. I'm past sorry. the broom closet, at least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no <laughs> significance to the story. I what see, I see, ever. that's what it means. Floor appreciation. I am indeed appreciating the floor. Wait, is there an ending here? I stay here forever. Wait, this this maybe room you, closet this is, is actually pretty big. Like, think about it. Like maybe one, when you go two, talk about three, this with four. your friend, you'll say, Oh, one, did you two, get the two. broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. Chat, are you in the game? Concerning. The broom closet ending? Are you guys? Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <gasps> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. What? Why are you saying that? That's rude. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Inside, you yeah. Closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. Uh huh. And a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system, and you collapsed on the keyboard. No. So in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby Will so you? as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to. I mean, it is a broom closet. All the all the necessary Hello? tools are Anyone here. Hello, anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's in oh, the evils of, of the being human. Sustainability of your species. Oh, Please no. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. Wow. So that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. Insightful commentary? Right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Now. You not gonna see anything? No? I can do this all day! Anytime now. No. No. I'm gonna get out of here now.
Ah, second player. It's good to have you too. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish, fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. Okay. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. You're still mad. Yeah, I'll close the door. What's that? No? No? Hello? He's gone! He's gone! I'm free! Coming to ah! a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. There's obviously downstairs. Look, look at how he's talking. He's like, Oh, Stanley went to the boss's office. Little did he know I have freedom. Oh, red. That's never a good sign. Twelve. Oh, a car! But Stanley just couldn't do it. Okay. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think One, he was crazy. Two, three, four. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, uh -huh. maybe I am crazy. Oh. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley possibly? pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Like this tree is gone? Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? What? Why did doors close automatically behind yeah. him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. What is he it? He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Is it? Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. Uh -huh. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after what all. Wake me up on time. <laughs> I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So... He imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined Wait, what, are himself soaring dreaming? through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, Ooh. and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all what? entered yep, Stanley's head. <laughs> One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. This is like thought And when he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Maybe it's the I'm opposite. The Maybe I just didn't words. sleep for a couple of days and I'm just thinking After and all, seeing stuff, you, you know? The opposite of that being asleep. That this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice so explain listening. all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... If I could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. Wake me he up from the sun. Cool weight of the blanket I can't wake up. The press wake of the mattress on his sun. back. I can't wake up. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Ooh. Let me wake up. 
he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. Is it? I want my apartment and my wife. I do have a wife. my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything, Everything will, will be died over. I am okay. Why do you sound so sad? Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. Uh, I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, wait, just someone this is the tell same me room. I'm real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> and everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Ooh. Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and oh. walked to her place of work. So on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the I can't believe we're dying! He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real Do you? and what isn't. Do you know what's it was real and what's to think this. And in a sane? certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. I can't believe I just died. But you know what that proved? That proved I'm real. Because someone else... Someone else saw me, so I am indeed real. That really goes to say, do you really exist until another person acknowledges your existence? Do you not? Oh, deep thoughts. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Yeah. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Will I ever be alone? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, Keep he entered the, the door on his left. Do I really exist if I don't have anyone who knows I exist? Or anyone to talk to when I am existing? Yet there was not a Are single really person real? here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs. Wait, what to happens his if we keep office. walking downstairs? Is it the same ending? I'm curious. I mean, it's pretty quick to get back, so maybe. Ah, but run! Stanley just couldn't do it. Run, Stanley, he considered run! The possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired uh -oh. for that. And in such a competitive economy, it's the same ending. Why had he taken that risk? All oh, because Neil. he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think oh, he was Neil. crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. What happened? Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. I am All crazy. Of my blinking mysteriously out of existence. Also, one in a second, I need to close my window. <laughs> no reason at all. 
none of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? All right, Ava. And for that matter, Wait, what if these I go rooms back? were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Oh no. No, Stanley said heat? to himself, this is all oh, too heat. strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. I'm he running. Just found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. I can reset. Begin the game again. Oh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> all of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? What does it mean? What does Stanley it mean, Steve? To to Who's Steve? Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Answer me, Steve. What does it mean? I'm just gonna name the narrator Steve. Who is Steve? When Steve. Why is Steve? Two open doors, How is Steve? Door I'm sorry, all the left. Steves in the chat. <laughs> Stephen Stanley, the new stand-up comedy. Feel a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he'd come into a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs okay, to his boss's office. Okay, now I can. I don't office. have to run. Okay, boss, came here to. Oh, nice place. Executive bathroom. Oh, <gasps> what? I got a feeling. Money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. See, that's a lovely purse. And a toilet. Oh. Wait, what? Why don't I see myself in the mirror? I'm a ghost. Boss? You hear, boss? Ooh, PC. It's off. Okay. Ooh. Is this the boss? Where do I go? Where do I go, chat? Right? Left? Left? Right? Palm. Pa, pa, pa. Piano. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, oh. Let Stanley me out. wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? It's such a nice office. Look at the ceiling. It's like two stories high. What he could not have known was like that the behind high. the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so How the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. 2845? Two, eight, four, five. Of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Of course not. Eight, 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 eight. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Should I try it? 2845. No? <laughs> Yo. No. She. Cook. No. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in. Oh. And the door just opened all by itself. What? And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Hi! <laughs> Two, 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 eight, four, five. Did it work? It worked! Woo! I got the code! <laughs> A little scary, I gotta say. Wait, is there even an ending to this game? I don't know. What am I aiming for? Why does the boss have a giant warehouse? Usually, usually when this happens in games, 
it ends up being that the boss was indeed descending deeper into the building like a Stanley like a boss the felt a bit secret society it was a blanket. stirring of emotion in his chest and he has a he felt more free to think for himself he has a factory of blankets of why did he beneath feel the this now, company when for years it had never occurred to him this question would not go unanswered for long Can we go back up? Oh, we can. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back? But what to if something is already office? back? Well, that's a great there. question. I just can't wait to find out. What if there's something new? Secret Society Blanket. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. No way! Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. Really? It's still just exactly what it is. No way. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. Are you being sarcastic? It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. Sure. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Does this actually do anything? Eight. Oh. No. to say three no Gee. you disappoint me okay we're going back down Incredible. Now he's getting back into the I mean, you locked the door. Again. Where else am I Ladies supposed to go, sir? How does he keep Steve? coming up with all of this? Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Really? Stanley walks straight ahead through the large mind door control the facility. Mind control facility. Escape. It's escape. The cafe is to the left. I don't know, as a priestess of the ancient ones, I may or may not have a little bit of interest in this thing called the Mind control facility. Don't you guys think? I think so. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can figure out a thing here and there about mind control. Maybe I'll learn something I never knew. What? The lights rose Whoa. on an enormous room packed with television screens. What television horrible screen. secret did this place hold? Television. Stanley thought to himself. Hmm. Did he have the strength to find out? Do I have the strength? You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of X-Men. In the, uh, what's that place called? The thing where Professor uses it to, like, locate all the... <laughs> all the mutants. Yeah, doesn't it look like that? This is where he sees all the moons, contacts them, be like, hey, you got a barbecue on Saturday. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
kind of does, doesn't it? What are all these? Oh. Now the monitors jump oh, to boy. life. Their true nature Fired? Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's oh. co-workers. Oh my. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Where's... What was Stanley again? 420... 27? Well, I'm not there. Look, I'm like right there. I'm not there. But so is anyone else. Eject? This is eject, right? Do we get to like eject everyone out of their boxes? Let's do it. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was oh, happy just with his boring oh. job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Was he? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His well, I can accept life it. in someone else's control. I mean, you're the one talking never. to me, Steve. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But I must ask you, who killed the world? And here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and it's commanded offline, from though. this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I am? What if I take control of this facility? Make it my own. The new tentacled office. No? Are these buttons? Nothing's happening. No? Oh, power! I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind to be mind controlled by the tentacled, would you? Right. I have your consent. What's this five? Nothing. Okay. Mind controls idle, awaiting input. Well, say no more. Maybe you already are. <laughs> And you guys last, know he found too much. Source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an. Oh, Stanley! You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort. I really do. But you need to understand. There's only so much that machine can do. You like were what? supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, mm. you're going to have to do much better than that. Oh. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's oh, emergency buckets. detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA, DNA identification, Nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, I'll say right say, now. Um, two minutes. Oh. 
Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Is it? It's your time to shine. You are the star. I'm a it's star. your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you. About me, where we're going, yeah, press this. what all this means, this this? I barely know where to start. Charge. What's that? Oh. You'd like to know where your co workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Uh huh. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly. We're all gonna die. I erased them. Oh. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Oh. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing button? buttons endlessly. Oh, and wait, there's buttons. Alone. Maybe I can press all of them. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this though, this one? version of events Four. has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control rested away from you, it's quite rich. I uh -huh. almost hate to see it go. Where is I'm one? sure whatever I come up one. with on the next go around will be Two. even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Where's but three? I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to oh, put wait, some extra three, right? time on the clock. Why not? Okay, thank These you. Precious additional seconds, Stanley. Great. Time doesn't grow on trees. What does it? Oh dear, Crony doesn't grow on a tree. Is it I was about to plant no a crony tree. Where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing Guess right I have now? To or did you just find a different saw that timer that something in this room way. was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you, running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Yeah, click Are on every little buttons? thing. No. These colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door, everything, anything, something here will well, say. I don't mind dying. Why would you think that, Stanley? Wait, that that's this nothing. video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> uh, four. <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. Uh huh. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking oh, away. Oh, yellow to and death. four. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made. Oh, humble. I have accepted my death. This is I'm not just a having fun. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. Whoa! So you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until ah, a big boom. Back no ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count, or don't. It's all Goodbye. the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your oh, inevitable no. life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. We're back. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? What does it Stanley mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm telling you, this is re zero. I'm, I don't fear my death. When Stanley came Beth to a set not of the two final open doors, he entered the door on his left. He stared at death in the face and said, Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Uh -huh. Hoping he might come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I did. Wait, we didn't go right, did we? We did not. Oh, there's an elevator. Why does it have an elevator? Can we go up? Up or down? Up. Ding dong. Are 
are you singing, Steve? Steve is singing. Louder, Steve. Louder. Louder for chat. It's a long, long elevator ride. Drink the coffee. What a wonderful ride. <sighs> Do you think we got we reached floor fifty yet? We're going down? Oh. Stepping Hi. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? What Stanley does it wondered mean? aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, yeah. he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Yeah. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. I'm sorry, so he I hear that a lot. For a few moments, with some calming new age <gasps> music. This Being reminds me of and Oi. rejuvenated. Stanley I was talking. calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. I was about to say that reminds me of the uh the top gun uh soundtrack. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yes, we go down. If you guys haven't watched Top Gun Maverick, the new one that came out, it was really good. Definitely worth seeing in the theaters. Like, I watched it at a normal theaters, right? But it was like... Like, like the sound was so good. Like, my sh my, my seat was shaking. And like, the jet engines were like... Wah! And I was like... Oh. 
imagine there's like there's like those like 4DX theaters, right? Where your seat actually like shakes. Uh, with like the movie and stuff. I'm sure if you watch it, there is really good. I don't know if it's still in IMAX though, but if you watch it in IMAX, I'm kind of jealous. It was really good. Really, really good. Like, if it shook that much at a normal, like, theater seat, just how much more immersive it was in like 4DX, I can only imagine. <laughs> Remember Spongebob? Actually, I remember that Spongebob ride too, when I was little. We finally went to... I forgot where it was. But there was like the Spongebob ride where the seat like shook like crazy. And it was a ride. And then there was like bubbles and like all kinds of things. I I also heard like Melanie's and Papani's, they went on a trip before on their own. And, and they went to like a Transformers one. Apparently that was really cool too. Yeah. It might have been universal. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. we haven't gone to Escape yet. What's Escape? Hmm. Copy. Do, do I try this one again? Okay, chat, where do I go? Do I go? It's copy. With the mind control facility. Mind control facility first. <laughs> the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible We're here to let all the mutants know. Stanley thought to himself. This Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. To find out. Can I jump off the platforms? I can't jump. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the true nature revealed. In the building. But it's Saturday. Well, I'm sure the there's a mutant so out there that can make Saturdays into Tuesdays. On a screen. <laughs> and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where I can climb the chair. Nothing. It doesn't. Oh, oh. Could it be? Oh. Let me up. Oh, oh. You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome. Hi. You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. Oh. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. Uh -huh. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Okay. Anyway, when it came time to update the game, uh -huh. we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So... Here you go. Oh. New content. <gasps> you can call it the bottom of the mind control room ending, if that enhances your perception of the value of these updates. Uh -huh. Isn't that what you crave? New content? Always more content, more content, more, 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 more content. More. And I'm here to give it to you. Yeah. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game. Uh -huh. the secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new Whoa, piece of new music, music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. <gasps> it's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. I think I broke my we knees, though. Track, Can you call me doctor? Job, made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Well Steve? done. Steve? Good job. You did it. Good job. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control. Thank you. Good 
jumped on the catwalk. Uh huh. You should have been careful. You should have been careful. But I wasn't. It used to be a bug. Yeah. But now it's an ending. Boom. Now it's an ending. An ending. I believe in believe you. Believe you. I believe in your ability to cross this a barrier. barrier. Chase your dreams. Chase your dreams. The railings don't mean anything. Yeah. Good job, you did it. You did Good it. Job, you did it. You did it. Good 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 job, 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 you did it. Thank you. Oh. It really was an ending. Okay, run! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Run, Stanley, Stanley decided run. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I did indeed. Run, Stanley, run! Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I wanna hear the okay, music I think again. We all know the drill by now. Uh -huh. Blah blah blah. Dark secrets, oh. the keypad, Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh hey, look, it's a new passageway. Wow! Oh, surprise. Surprise! <laughs> Thanks, Steve. I know you got my back. <laughs> Alright, Steve. You ready for more elevator rides? Let's go. No need for you to talk. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back no into need the for elevator talking. and went back up. Silly me. I know what you're gonna say. Why did Stanley do that? When he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. No need for words. <laughs> we go back. Let me out. Hello? Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly uh -huh. the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and Let me down. again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in okay, new and I know. fascinating ways I, I could know what have you're never anticipated. Say. It's that keen eye for storytelling that, that, that you have. have. An incisive, incisive rapid fire of critical pop points, one after another. Other, weaving a rich, a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted Bored to the, the edge, edge of my, my seat. I know what you're gonna say. Incredible. Now, now he's, he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he coming up in all this? Yeah. And again! Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back, back up, up in, in the elevator. elevator. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is oh, it maybe the, the boss's, boss's office? office again? Or what if it's the boss's <gasps> office this time? Wait, do you the think it might just be what I think it is? The boss's office. It's the, the boss's, boss's office. office. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. <laughs> Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. Hi, ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with no. No, wait. Hmm? No. I need more time to process. What? It's okay. Take your time, Steve.
You know, what's the longest time you guys like waited on the phone line with the music playing? I think my record is like two hours. All right. I have fully come to terms with it. Okay. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. Ooh. As before, mm -hmm. I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Ah, no problem at all. Anytime. You know, anything for the chat, you know. Of course. Going back down. What elevator. else could I do? Door is locked. Not anticipated. I mean, sure, now it's obvious, oh, but you course. have to understand that 30 seconds ago, uh -huh. this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I, I know, no I know, I'm just, uh, even just a pioneer That's of just a how storytelling. Stanley's decision making is a breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling I know, I know. that has grown stale and repetitive. Oh. What? <laughs> But what if? But what if? Hmm. You know what? Yeah? I've just thought of something. Hold mm -hmm. on, let's stop for a moment. What? Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. What about you anticipation? And I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. Are you sure? But the suspense. The agony I think of waiting and anticipating idea. and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Oh, I simply oh, okay. don't want to let that feeling go. Okay. It's so precious. Understandable. So fleeting. Mm. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice I mean, and smooth? I'm all for it. I can do this all day. There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays oh. the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. That is they very want true. big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. Yeah. But where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story? The characters? True, true. Very true. Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? Yeah. To have to think and to anticipate mm -hmm. and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. Indeed. What I you agree, and I are Steve. doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. No worries. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. I know. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's you not would like never anything guess. else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. Mm -hmm. I want to have to think. Mm -hmm. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. Mm -hmm. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it. Which mm -hmm. is why we're so starved for content that makes mm -hmm. us feel sharp. And vital and alive. Thank That's you. why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. Oh, you're thank you, thank you. Model, you know, people look up to you. Uh, which is why too much oh, I didn't know when to spring this on you, but well, I've gathered a little press conference for Ooh, you. Oh, so press that you can conference. Talk about your work and your storytelling and your oh, life. <laughs> you didn't yes, have I know to. you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from oh, the beginning. I, they really Henry look up to you, petty. Stanley. I Thank don't know you. if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. <gasps> oh, good, we're here. You really didn't have to, Steve. Wow, look okay. at this. The room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. All eyes on Stanley live on stage. Wow. World's healthiest human being. All tricks revealed. How we did it, the pyramid. The guy who went to Mars. People went to Mars? Well, I don't know if I'm ready for this red carpet uh, treatment here. World peace, baby. Ah, yes. Stage here it door. is, just through this door. World's first sentient machine. That's how the world ends, you know. I don't think this machine is equipped with speech, though. Look at that, it's just a mechanical arm. I don't know, maybe I'll ask the question. 
All right. To Are stage. You ready? Welcome, I've told Stan. them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature Stanley of surprise in storytelling. And what it means to craft a truly fun. unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and uh -huh. speak from the heart. I'm I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay. It looks like they're ready for you. Wait, is my last don't name Ryder? Interesting. Wait, is this... 427? That's me! What is my face? Up again, down again. Congratulations, Stanley member, where you came from. Your co-workers. I thought they all disappeared. Well, since I can't give that uh, speech um, on stage, I guess I'll give it to you right now. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you, everyone! Coming to the press conference of Ninomai Stanliness. I know it's been a long journey. Since I debuted back in 2020... Was it 2020? I think it was 2020. Yeah. Um, and I would just like to say... That... Um, to be nominated for this... Award... Was it nominated for an award? I don't know. But I'll just... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very big honor. I'm glad to be uh, joined here today by such wonderful uh, Takurachis. Um, I would like to thank uh, Mama Nis, Papa Nis, uh, also my uh, gen mates, and everyone, hello Ian, everyone, hello Love, um, for this wonderful opportunity. And um, I know, just like my performance on the elevator, I often like to say life is just like an elevator ride. You sometimes go up, you sometimes go down. You meet some random people on the way. Your destination might be the same. They might get on, get off at different stops. But it's honestly, the entire ride that matters. The people you meet during the elevator rides. Um, you know, sometimes you go all the way to your stop together. Sometimes they get off early. Sometimes you get off early. And, um, you gotta treasure the time you have with them. And um, sometimes when you feel like you've hit rock bottom on the very bottom floor of the elevator, just know that the only way is up and things will get better with your elevator ride. That's all I want to say today. Thank you very much everyone for joining me today. It has been an honor. I hope that I can also reach new heights with, my, with the elevator ride that is my life. Thank you. Have a nice, wonderful rest of the morning, afternoon, evening. Love you all. Ina out. Thank you. That, that was my speech. 
I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Uh -huh. Or won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Uh -huh. Yeah, I also gave a speech to I hope you heard when it. Stanley you... came to a set of two open I doors. Did. He entered the door on his left. Okay, we're speeding through. What haven't we yet, tried yet? Oh yeah, we gotta press either. the off button. Feeling a wave of disbelief. On the mind control. Stanley decided to go mm. up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Yeah, I'm running. I'm running. Yeah, yeah, open up. Here's Thank you. Door, Thank you. Okay. We gotta press off on the mind control button first. Um. Um, what else? Um. Oh, more right door stuff. Right, right, right. After we finish with the left, we'll Stanley go right. Walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I did indeed. We have to do this, and we have to do the escape. And then the lights rose on the go to the right television screens. Hmm. What horrible secret did this place hold? <laughs> the speech Stanley was so good himself. it became Otaku. Did he have the Embrace your otaku side. Alright, alright. Got a lot more to cover here. Okay. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. Uh -huh. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. I mean, and isn't Stanley, this just YouTube? Monitored, <laughs> monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Isn't this just YouTube? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Look at all these Had channels Stanley you watch. Been under someone's control <laughs> all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Hmm. No. Questionable. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. Why are his some of the screens like all over the top? Else's control? He ran out of screen space? It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Mm. Was it even possible? Is had he truly spent his entire life Utterly blind to the world. How can we see you if our eyes aren't real? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. The heart. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, Happy sad, or sad, content. or content. Where's the working, hungry button? Eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very Where's place. the hungry button? And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power I'm hungry. over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. He's not working. Where's the, what was it, A5 top grade lock you button? <laughs> Where's my sushi button? Or the unlimited candy button? Hmm. Also, happy birthday! Hope you have a good one. Wagyu is a lie. Oh no. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put Am an I end gonna to this the horrible world? place the top and to they everything could. it stood for. I could just sit here. It's nice and quiet. I don't mind just sitting here. I'm kind of hungry. Uh -oh. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? It's never over, Steve. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone Skynet. else's command. 
Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How Wait, had the he been freed kind. from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. It did it? For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. But what if I like Whatever them life here? He lives, it will be his. No. And that was all he needed to I'm know. Scared. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. What if I didn't? I don't want to touch grass. No. Outside is scary. Not the outside. I don't have sunscreen. Oh, I like the darkness. Not coming with me, Steve. 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 Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. Oh. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Oh, I beat the game. But I didn't. I'm back here. Steve! You know, do you think sometimes people are scared of happiness? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I think it's the fact that if you know happiness... ...and you know... That you might lose that happiness, the fear of that really makes you scared of being happy. Cause how how hurt you get when you lose happiness. Ooh. Wait, we can't go here yet. Gotta finish the other stuff. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. That's why I think some people, even though Yet, there they was not see a single person here either, happiness right in front of, of them, they're afraid Stanley to reach out to, to, up to his boss's office, hoping he they might know that if they experience there. the happiness, coming to a staircase, be so much Stanley hurt walked upstairs to his boss's happy. office. You're scared. Did you just open the door even without me? <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Here's the door. Just go. Thanks, Steve. Now we go escape. <laughs> I could really use my coffee right now. I have Stanley hot coffee. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door. No, the red escape. Mind control facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, 
The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Oh well. Nope, still on board with death. Are we? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Maybe, maybe Steve is lying. What could possibly go wrong at the end of this tunnel, right? The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Uh huh. That's what they at all this say. Point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. I mean, it's a long really hallway. Confront his death. It's, it's very curious what's at the end. Oh, red light. Put the speed away to heaven. Ooh, cutscene. Ow, my knees! Uh-oh. As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Bye, Steve. Ah. Farewell, Stanley cried the narrator what? as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous Who metal are you? jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Eh? Oh. Who missed... That's the game's title. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What are you trying to accomplish? Where am I? It's just a dark room. Are you perhaps a maiden? Hello? 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 I just want you to let you know that I am indeed maidenless. In search of a maiden? Are you perhaps in the market for a maidenless? Question mark? No? Yes, no? No? Yes, no? Okay, I'll be here, I'll be here. She's not answering. When every oh. path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see also now? meaningless? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Major painting. That's a lie. This is a photograph with Photoshop filters on it. I know it when I see one. This is the what angled strokes filter on Photoshop. <laughs> Now I've been using Photoshop for more than, I don't know, 10 years. I know a filter when I see one. <laughs> Paintings, they say. I could try a little harder on that one. It literally takes two seconds for this image. <laughs> Stanley's computer. 
Wait, I have a museum? Office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development. Though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Oh, there it is! My office! We zoom through. There's the hallway where they bumped into each other. And dropped all the papers on the floor. There's the two doors. The corridor. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Unless... <laughs> Unless... When you said computer, my Alexa activated because my activation weird is computer. Computer! Play! Never gonna give you up! In full volume. The two doors. The set of the two open doors was the very first concrete piece of Stanley Parable's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the computer immersed as an extension of it and exploration of the contradictions this room posed. Oh. You know, this kind of... The, the two doors kind of reminds you of that one science um, experiment you can do it. Um, what was it? The, the one with like the polarizing light. What was it called? You guys know what it's called? It had a word for it. The double slit experiment. Yeah, isn't that basically what this is? Kind of, in a way. <laughs> the double Stanley experiment. Because there's two choices. <laughs> oh, oh. I mean, it's not exactly like the... The experiment itself, but... <laughs> but... The setup, the physical setup of the entrance... Kind of, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. The office. The buttons. Button sounds. A selection of the sounds used throughout the game when the button is pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard stroke and synthesized tone. What's your favorite? I'm feeling number two. You like five? Eh, five is so basic though, like... It's the same thing all over again, but two has different tones. What's about three? Oh, actually two is kind of like a mix of... Mix of... I mean, three is kind of like a mix of two and five. But four. I don't like four. I don't like one. Okay, maybe maybe three is the best one. It's like a best of both worlds. Because two has a tone, like the boop, boop, boop. It's like a single tone, and five is like the... And three is like... Yeah. Actually, for the longest time, three was like my lucky number. <gasps> what is this? Solitaire? Ah! Uh-oh. I didn't break it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Button cabinet. I want to play solid. What's this? Credits. Oh, wait. Is this the actual end of the game? There's credits. Wait, what's... Where, where do I go first? Left? The 
office. The printer. The maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. Wait, what, what happens if I call right? Office clocks. Boss's office. Oh, so this was kind of like the early version. Screens from the development of the boss's office. I'm guessing the right was the first iteration, and then they added some bookshelves, and they added the wallpapers. <laughs> so many rooms. Freedom ending. This was the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. Wait, I feel like I should go down. There's so many rooms! See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of. Oh. Underground. An early version of the underground portion of the game. It's copy! It wasn't handwritten back then, huh? Yeah. Steve? I'm just gonna make this easy on you. At the top of the facility Steve? to end this injustice forever. Narration outtakes. Kevin writing the voice of the narrator recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These are clips from early takes that were not used in the final game. Steve pushed the orange lever. And finally, he pushed the number six. Six. Stanley pushed the orange lever. Lever. This is like the actual ending. Ending. <laughs> now you'll always be Steve to me. Countdown desk. Oh. Well, that's from early version of the count countdown ending. Freedom ending. This is the freedom ending as it existed in the beta. Monitor room elevator. I feel like I shouldn't look at all this for all the different endings. Countdown room. Game design mock-up. Oh, so the rooms are all, all connected. It is a... I'll just quickly look at it. I won't read anything. Cake? Oh, that's not cake. Cargo lift. Cargo lift? No, cargo road. <laughs> What's this? The zending model. Wait, we haven't been here. We can't look at this. How do we get out of here? This way. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. Oh. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. I will not be free if I'm with you. No? Oh. Can you see? Can you no. see how much they need one another? No. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. We can't see if our eyes aren't real. <gasps> but listen to me. You can still save those two. You what? can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long what? as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. What? Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... I let time choose for me. All right. <laughs> Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. I do indeed. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just do a they even of exist? Time. 
Okay, not new content right now. No. I chose that. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. Wait, have we he done everything the here? Left. We go right. Um, we did the escape just now. Yeah, I think it's time to go to the right side. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew, knew it knew perfectly that. well. Mm -hmm, Perhaps did. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just mm -hmm. to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. Just but like chat. To get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. Wait, I didn't take this right, not yet. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Now. <laughs> but Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. Who dies? He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. That's so the now point in order the to game. get back, he needed to go um uh, up the lift. Uh, oh. Da, 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 da. Can you be, hurry and up? Here it's um left. You sure? Oh no, no, what? it's to the right, my mistake. You had one job, one no, job. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? I knew I should have gotten an Alexa. Now let's see. We went down, right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yes. I've got it now. Sure? This story is absolutely, definitely this way. You sure? All right. I'll give you one more chance. But the car was gonna hit me. I was about to get isekai. Well, wait. Oh, we've been no, here. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. I've been Good here Stanley. already. Close your eyes. No. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to. Um, we've been oh. here. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How mm. about rather than well, wasting my have time to trying for to that? this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this what? time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm. Okay. From the top. Stop! Oh, uh... Steve. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Yeah, yeah, Stanley yeah. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Yes, Perhaps the he meeting had room. A memo. Oh, come on, Steve. You could have done better than that. When Stanley... Wait. 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 What? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. I think oh, there's a bug. Change, Stanley. Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or? No. Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Mm -hmm. it was right here, just a minute ago. Mm -hmm. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's oh. find the story. So many choices. I want to go here. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh. Do they connect? Hello? They do. I mean, we're, we're gonna eventually find something, right? I don't know where I'm going. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever I mean, ever who been do on. we have to blame? You, there definitely was a story here before. I mean, if someone didn't just, lose the story. Do we start the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's gotta be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Oh, come on. I mean, one All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps uh -huh. he had simply missed a memo. Uh huh. A memo. Hmm. Who could have missed a memo? Okay. It yep. It's worse. Steve. I'm really remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Steve. Why don't we Steve. go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Listen to me, Steve. You really had one job. 
supposed to give me the room with two walls. No? I'm gonna have to talk to your... Talk to your superiors about this. Oh, coffee. Someone spilled the coffee? Was it always there? Aha! I knew we'd miss something. What did we miss? The story. Here it comes. What story? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other Sam. way and retrace our steps. Oh, you're making me walk so much. What now? now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't I know. Don't You're the so. one who wrote it. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? I think mm. so. Do you remember, Stanley? Remember what? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, uh -huh. how about this? You win! Congratulations! What? I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Mm. Oh, no. No, I don't, I feel don't know. Right about this at all. A little... We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that well, one. Excuse Some me. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Okay. <laughs> hmm. All Suspicious. Right. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, uh -huh. I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? It's copyrighted! Is this always on? Weird. Well, this way? I thought we were supposed to go f straight. Wait, why is this the four B6 ones? Why are some threes turned into Bs? It happened before. Remember there was a room with like the clocks and it was like one, two, B, four? What does it mean? Why are threes Bs? You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Uh -huh. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Mm. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Okay. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence uh -huh. is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence uh -huh. rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, uh -huh. is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Mm. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. Somewhere. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Okay. Um... This was not the music I was expecting! And what the word is? We're back where we started. What? What the song? Hey. Ah. Up the stairs. Huh? Um, I don't think I have enough momentum to go on the wall, sir. Pretend 
Later in the story, Why? make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. Okay. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. I have observed the fern. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? I am Stanley. Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, we're back here. Oh. Hi. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, maybe you didn't pay the copyright through, fees. You... No, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. No! Oh. You're not Stanley, you're Ina. You know what, Stanley? No, I am. I I'd am Stanley. Line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent. What people, have you right? done to the line? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting. Daring, how about mysterious. okay? How about this? How about this? this? Sounds perfectly doable. We Why stay we in our room. Wondering in, well, and we I press the keys. How about this direction? No, I guess not. Okay, fine, fine. Now, yes, this is wow, exciting. so Just exciting. A hallway, a path, new path. A new story. Well, it could be anything. Wow, what could be at the end of this hallway with nothing on the Use walls but light and spore? Whatever it might be, Stanley, uh -huh. I'm ready for it. Are you? I am so ready for where this adventure is taking us. Oh, the excitement. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley. Hello, line. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. I don't know. You're no the one who called the line here. Rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. Oh, what a cute line you're. Oh, look at you going all over the walls. Oh, such a cute line. Oh, so cute. <gasps> look at you going through the ceiling. <laughs> ah, a Ooh. choice. We get to make a decision. Wow. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Okay. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Okay, a Let's minute. Let's walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, mm -hmm. there must be a reverse door that leads here. Mm -hmm. And that, in turn, mm -hmm. means that our destination corresponds mm -hmm. with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. Yeah. So starting from the right, let us ask, mm -hmm. will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, uh -huh. then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Uh -huh. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny. 
awaits. Um, Steve? Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Find the confusion hmm. ending the schedule. confusion ending? Theft You're restart. That's what this is? It's all one giant ending? Yes. And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight, eight times? Eight times? After a long time, Stanley really dies. Is how all this oh. goes? It's all determined? Well, so now, according to the schedule, I restart mm -hmm. again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Oh, yes, so. Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply uh -huh. because it's written here on this this thing. Well, wall. happens. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Mm, Is it really... I've been asking them all the time. No, it can't be. I'd... I don't want it to be. I, I know I it's hard to accept. I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I mean... I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do okay, it. I okay. won't do it. Okay. And the timer to... stopped? Oh, who's playing the game now? Did we do it? Did we break the cycle? I don't the, know. Um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? I don't know. You're the one who made the game, or did so, you? Okay. I mean, it's okay. I it happens. It happens you to know, you. Don't worry about it. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I I'm guess not quite so. Quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always they saying say that the journey is about the journey and not right the destination. The final so results. I hope that's where we are right mm -hmm. now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Maybe. Well, in the meantime, if you. Well, Steve? Steve? All of his co workers were gone. Oh what no, he mean? was reset. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed oh, a memo. Oh no, he was reset. What do we do? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley oh, knew it perfectly no. well. Steve. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. Are we going to new to content? I feel like I haven't gone past the uh Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley the for the part. first but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. We've been to this part, Look, right? Stanley, yeah. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the oh, wrong Can we go foot. there? I'm not your enemy, really. Oh, I'm we can jump off, I right? I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. What? Really? Yeah! I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Sorry. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Well, I don't know. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Like what? Look, let me prove it. Uh -huh. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Okay, go chance. ahead. No buckets past this point. Which bucket? Where's the bucket? Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Wait, 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 wait. This is like the Matrix. I forgot which was which. <laughs> Which 
Which one was which? The blue is more fun. Ah. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red no. door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. No. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to yeah. find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Okay. You see? Ooh. There's nothing here. Look, there's a way. I didn't finish building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Maybe you would have thought that before rooms, I came exposed here. developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yeah. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Uh -huh. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Well. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Um, Work some with cats. me. You've given me absolutely for nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. Oh. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, oh, Stanley. Okay. Take it for a spin. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved mm -hmm. to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? Mm -hmm. That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Um, add more cats. Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. Ooh. And to be perfectly candid, I mm -hmm. think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh. Now, would you say that competitive oh, leaderboard wide helps leaderboard. you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Um. Ninety percent of players chose the blue door. Yeah, it's not a good thing. Wait, I can't go anywhere. Eh? Eh? Stuck. This is for giving a one. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> like that's all the endings, right? <laughs> How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made Is a it? note to be more careful with time from now on. I don't know how long have I been in there. Wait, what happens if I go through the red door? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, Can I still go he there? entered the... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I Stanley want to try the red lightheaded. door. Butterflies in his stomach, giddy but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I did not. I did not Stanley take so the door. I did not. It's incredible he wasn't fired years oh, hi, ago. Steve. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong How can we go there? I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. And... There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. 
Someone. All right. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are Sometimes. you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show uh -huh. you something beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look, let me prove it. Okay. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully. This is important. Okay. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. No. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. No. Stan All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to yeah. find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't yeah. let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. All around me are familiar textures. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what characteristic you though. Was it worth ruining the entire story I'd written out specifically for you? Mm -hmm. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. <sighs> Help me here, Stanley. Help okay. elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. The desire for the unknown. Better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? I'm telling Skill you, trees? cats. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark. World can design. always use more cats. Some feedback. There we go. A third option. This okay. already feels leaps ahead. Wait, of but what if we go before. through one of these rooms? Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. <laughs> but what if what if we go through one of these rooms? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, I'm okay, okay, now, okay. I see tell me what about you did. Your experience with this new version. I think it's a little Would you better. Say that the um, game benefited from allowing you more choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical I'll, feedback I'll here. Probably a three. Oh, of course. Mm, a three. It wasn't the greatest, really. but it did Maybe have a little bit of anticipation. Opinion, you know, any level of critical thinking or engagement the with your of surroundings. Choice, you know. Does that sound good? Think we can do that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly okay. candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park. It's really missing one. some cats, Let's I'm telling you. Oh. Right, the leaderboards. Okay, I go through this room, right? Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard uh, helped you feel motivated to keep walking no, through doors? No, 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 it Again, didn't. Again, honest answers, please. Honestly, it was a worse. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. Ooh. And now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Okay. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? For free? Perfect. Let me boot it up. For free? In this game, oh. the baby crawls left towards danger. Oh. You click the button to move him back to the right. Oh, no. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. Oh. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Okay. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I can do this all day, Steve! Yeah. <laughs> 
So how how's it been? Oh no! Wait, I can't press it fast enough for a rhythm game. Hmm. We missed you, and I missed you guys too. Sorry, I can't hear you. Above this crying baby, it's a little loud. Read super chats. <laughs> I don't know if I can tap out fast enough. Can you hear me? Give me a carrot if the audio is fine. Are you guys okay? Carrots? I'm seeing cucumbers. Is the game too quiet? That to raise the game volume? Bastard. Did oh, you no. do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's I was now, worried well, for I chat. <laughs> I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. Mm. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. You done? It's over. Oh. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Thank you. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Yeah, actually, yeah. What do we have Maybe here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's Ooh. give it a shot. Whoa! Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it's well, not one fire you watching game man <laughs> spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. <laughs> hmm yes that must be it what a fascinating adventure into the experience of total mental depravity so far i love everything about this game Stanley. oh me too and it seems there's even more come let's venture outward and see what else is out there okay or not can i sleep I want to sleep. <gasps> food! I can cook here! There's food! Oh. What was that? That doesn't seem very safe to be on like a wooden building. Hey guys, welcome to my Firewatch playthrough. Oh no, oh, no, 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 it can't be. What? I'm touching grass? Are you... Oh, I'm free. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it no! off. No! No! Oh. Let me out! Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. What do you mean, close call? You nearly wandered off into that... That what? thing. That big open... Just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. What's wrong no path with open to follow. world You could just go in any... Ooh, oh, 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 keep it to yourself, we sir. Avoided it. Bathroom's to the left. Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find but a there's cracks game. in the wall. I can make it. Preferably something with walls. I can make something it. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. I can make it. <laughs> okay. Let me out. I think Let me this out. will be just the thing. Freedom is so close. No. <laughs> Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Oy, oy, Just oy. a nice big box for you to run around in. Time to play some soccer with cars. Here. Now this is <laughs> game design. Stanley, if you manage Where's to get my car, though? I'm gonna get hit by a car and get easy 
Hello? Okay, no? so what exactly do we do here? Let's we, we see. Kick the balls there are lots the, of cars here the in the cars. back, but obviously there's no racetrack. We play okay, soccer. I'm with seeing it. that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? No, it's called Stanley. Rocket League. I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun! Can I get a car, We shall please? run the bases and do a touchdown it's together. It's not touchdown. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Ah, <gasps> uh, I think it's a little too big. Am I blue or orange? I can't tell. I ow. I ow. Ugh. What are you doing? Ow. Are you winning? Is this fun? Ow. Is it better than my miserable little story that I work so hard on? My head Stanley, hurts. I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but uh -huh. if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for uh -oh. an even no, more no, euphoric no, 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 sports no, no. experience. Steve? I'm going to try it. No, 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 no. Yes. Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I oh, simply no. have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls! No! No! There's too many of them. I guess it's time for me. Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Oh, really? Are you having fun? Is this a you didn't give me the car! Game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time, because guess what? It's over. What? Okay, one more... No! Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. No. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I am structure. I'm your oh, sense of purpose. What and is since it called? you decided you didn't want to play Hard my game, here. now I don't want to play with you either. So, goodbye, Stanley. I'm Bye. Leaving. See how you like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Well, I love Somehow, it here. I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. But sure about knows? that. You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. Mm. After all, you're the one who knows best. Exactly. Take care, Stanley. Bye, Steve. Well, I guess we're here now. Kind of hungry. I think there's a way out here. I'm not sad. I'm not sad at all. No. It's just, it's real quiet. I don't think there's an exit. Is one way to find out. Oi. Hold on. What are you doing? Where do you get food? Oh. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. Well. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. <gasps> you know what this place reminds me of? It reminds me of that part in uh, Titanfall 2. When we're like running around in the factory. There's like all kinds of stuff. Filing cabinet. Not portal? I don't think I played actual portal. I haven't played the first portal portal. Where am I? Ah! Ah. Where am I? Oh. BD? <gasps> Light. I played Portal 2. I didn't play Portal. 
I didn't play the story of Portal 2. I just played the co-op. I should play it sometime. What's this? Nothing? Hmm. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. I don't know his lot. he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. What are you? Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Was that... was that it? The end is never the end. Well, we still haven't gone to the red the door. Meeting room. <laughs> yes, that's where everyone would be. Of course! Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. I'm always alone. Always. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, yes, I am and aware. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Maybe. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps too much, but eager it wasn't to get that back majestic. to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. He did not. <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Was it the left foot? I'm not your enemy, the right really, foot. I'm not. I realize that investing your like trust in someone else can be difficult. That one dude. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing Say I to the new content another time. time. I'm getting There's someone hungry. you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone no. you've Really? Yeah. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you um, that convinced that I want something well. bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. You told me you are going to show me, me my wife, it, but you didn't. Let did. me prove that I'm on your side. Okay. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I did. Oh, thank God, you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? Am I the problem ever happy? is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right That's now. That's just life, man. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? We're I always just, dying, I Steve. To stop. You can't would, stop dying. We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. No. And I think, well, I think I have a solution here. Let me show you. Hmm. What do we want? Food. What are we looking for? Food. Hmm? Here. Oh. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Where's my if food? If we just stay right here. Right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I think I feel... No, wait. Where are you going? Looking for food. Oh, no. Oh. Stay away from those stairs. If I you smell hurt yourself, bread. If you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. I smell pizza. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Where is my pizza? Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, I'm alive. Thank God. You lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Is it again? Now, can we please get back to the other room? No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Ooh. Wait. Ooh. Stanley? What? Let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? I need a rolling. I want. I want oh my pizza. God, is this really how much you dislike my game? There's Did you no throw pizza, yourself in this no platform cats. over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading Please the situation pizza. correctly? Why are you sad? We're just getting pizza. Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. Oh, but don't I guess that was so too sad. much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Fine. We'll get pizza another time. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? I just want pizza, man. I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I, I did wish too. I still thought that was possible. Happiness is just an illusion, Steve. But well, I think that is a good place to wrap it up for today. Our quest to search for pizza has come to an end. <laughs> wow, it's pretty though. One more jump. I guess it doesn't hurt. For the pizza. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. And so we start again. I don't know how many endings we got today. But... That's kind of a bittersweet ending. <laughs> we'll definitely come back and do the uh, new content sometime. Um, thank you. There's four other regular endings. Okay. Maybe I'll do that next time. But, um, thank you so much, everyone, for coming to watch the stream today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a while since I... Since I played the game for so long. <laughs> it feels like... Yeah. Thank you for coming to watch. I hope you guys have a wonderful... Rest of the morning, afternoon, evening. Thank you so much for all the viewers, all the members, all the new members, old members, all the viewers, all the all the all the all the, 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 all
Although, although cute in the tacos. <laughs> Thank you for all the super chats. And Andy! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much, the rainbow! Thank you, everyone! Also, I know, for those of you who were here yesterday, thank you so much for waiting... Waiting a whole, oh, actually over a month for me to come come back from my break. I am refreshed now. I want to come up with some new projects. Slowly get working on them. We have a lot to look forward to. Yeah. Anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be back tomorrow, same time. Uh, 2 p.m. PT, 6 a.m. JST, 10 p.m. GMT. And then on Monday, starting Monday, I'll go back to having a usual schedule. Yeah. Thank you so much. Take care. I hope you have a wonderful one rest of the morning after eating. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 You first. No. Bye. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Bye.